Uh, anyways, okay, so Ndito is the next problem, the biggest problem in the universe, even. I have to be careful with what I say here because the la I, I, what I made tweets making fun of Vito's shitty script. I made four tweets, three even. I made three tweets. Vito and Dick did a 25 minute long uh, take explaining how reference images and scripts work because i made fun of the fact that he inserted a picture of like a generic brunette woman wearing a 50s diner outfit and i said does he really not have enough confidence in his writing to explain what a di like a 50s diner outfit with waitress outfit looks like does he need a reference images for that and then they made 25 uh, minutes of commentary on this on this one thing so I, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try to uh to not stimulate their prostates and, and just be as direct as possible um this script i read through it now it's bad it is extremely bad um and it's so bad that i am kind of convinced that um it's deliberately bad if Vito doesn't know that it's bad, Dick does, and it doesn't matter to them. So to give you an idea of the timeline, um, Eric July put out his comic book. Vito said that he could do it better. He managed to grift from Dick's audience $83,000 to make his comic book. The result of this, and keep in mind that's 100% profit. Whatever money that they don't spend on a comic book uh, that they put out, as long as they put out a comic book, then they meet then they've legally met their obligation on putting out the comic book it has to be enough effort that the average dick show listener god help them um doesn't realize that this is deliberately bad and they have but they have to keep down production costs enough because any money they put into this is lost right now it's eighty three thousand dollars gravy any sent put towards actually producing this comic book is money taken out of their profit margins. So they have Vito write a script for free, basically, because it's just his labor. They have a mid-level artist do some of the art, the storyboarding, like everything except the final drawing is by Vito. So that's a hundred percent his labor up until the final drawing of it. So, um, I guess those, because he's doing the storyboarding, I guess it's like he, he needs the reference image for the diner because he doesn't know what a diner looks like. He forgets. Um, and once it's put out, even if it is a genuinely awful fucking comic, which to be clear, it's not like The Room where it's like so hilariously broken that it just doesn't make sense. It's just mediocre to the point of like porridge. It's like lukewarm vomit where it, it has a mild, like, a, you know, like an, un, like after you throw up and you have that bad aftertaste, it's just like, it's just nasty, but it's not actually like really invigorating in how bad it is. Um, the gist of it is, this is the entire plot. His character, his self-insert character, super killer, has a gun. And the gun kills superheroes and he's supposed to go around and like kill superheroes in multiple universes. So every world that he's a part of is a world that is destroyed by his behavior. And, um, in one of it, in the, the episode one, he like abducts a woman. He has to like, like save her by making her like an established sidekick. And that saves her life because her universe is like collapsing because he killed the star killer or whatever, or meteor man with his magic gun. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. So it's, it's just like the, the most generic fucking thing you could possibly imagine with extremely terrible dialogue. And I'm convinced that it's bad on purpose. It's like you just write a bare minimum, you get it put out there, you get it circulated, and then when um, everyone points out how bad it is, you just get Dick to go ah, kick, 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 on his stream, and then you get me to go, of course, of course it's bad. 
idiots. I never said I was a comic book author. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's like, that's it. That's the entire scheme. And then they make $60,000 because they only spent a fraction printing and, and hiring an artist to do the frames. Um, there was one particular part. Like, the, like here's an example of the lines. Beck, but it's not like the small press scene is doing any better. It seems like every new indie comic is just prepubescent dude bro fantasy. Nothing but lazy hyper violence and flimsy excuses to get the female characters naked. Um, so that's a line from the comic book about comic book industry from the female. And it's like, it, it's that kind of really mediocre writing where there are multiple characters talking and they are all the same. Like when there's a the, the a scene in the middle of it where Meteor Man gets shot by the magic gun and he's dying or whatever. And it's Super Killer, his sidekick Beck, and Meteor Man talking. And you can it's it's like clear as fucking day that all three of these characters are written by the same person. It's just Vito in different tones. You have smug Vito, confused Vito, and angry Vito. Smug Vito talking about uh, shooting a gun instead of molesting children for once. Confused Vito trying to understand why um, smug Vito killed angry Vito. And then angry Vito, who has a hole in his chest, explaining, ah, I'm a, I'm a hit. Ah, why, you motherfucker, you shot me with your magic gun. Uh, and it's, it's just, like, you know what exactly what I mean. Like, when you read a bad story by a bad author, um, it, th there's no dis distinction between the different characters. It reads like one person. Uh, and there was some, oh, yeah. Okay, this this guy pointed this out. I didn't even realize this. So the whole thing is that the 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 girl, the the woman in it that he abducts, loves superheroes. She's a comic book fan. She's like a tag. She wants to be like a tag along. She wants to be like a component, like to a, like a sidekick or a hero herself. But yet she like tags along with a guy whose job is to kill heroes. So. She loves heroes. She wants to be a hero. She wants to be a sidekick to the hero. Yeah, this is the girl that um, he strips down at the end for no reason and gets accused of, of raping her for whatever reason. Um, but when it comes to, like, murdering Meteor Man, she's just like, yeah, sure, whatever. This is fine. And no, this is not Beto's tranny self-insert. This is a real woman who died. This is her. She, he was uh, friends with her. And um, he has commissioned pornography or softcore pornography of, of her as an alternative cover. So this is a real person that he's supposedly basing this off of. And he's already made um, alternative covers of her being like tentacle, like imminently tentacle raped. It's not like actually pornographic, but it's like imminent what's about to happen. So, no, it's even worse than that. It's not like, oh, this is just Vito being like a weirdo trying to insert like a League of Legends character into his fucking comic or whatever because that's what he jerks off to. Because obviously he jerks off to children instead based off what's, what he said on Twitter. Um, it's, a, it's a real woman who's dead and whose memory he's encapsulated in this shit-ass fucking comic, which is embarrassing to everyone involved. And this is the, the Vito segment. I can't wait to see how fucking long they spend talking about that. Thanks for watching the script. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.